friend. Look, la you know, last time we did this show, we were kind of buzzed all because, right? This right. is how we do it. But uh, it's up to us to make some changes in our lives for our, for personally, for the show, right? No yeah. more gas stations, right. right? Right. Maybe make the show a little less thirsty. All right. right. And I know you like, you know, oh, it's, a dong, it's a dong show. No. All right. Let's get serious about combat. Right. Are you ready for this? Should the women's 145 pound division be opened up like light? Jesus, fuck, mother fuck. Should the women's 145 pound division be opened up like heavyweight is for men and be set at 165 pounds? More signings, no weight cuts for the bigger girls and a fresh challenge for Amanda uh, Nunes. Shout out to the bigger girls, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I called you fat. Look at me, I'm skinny, right? I know, they're 165 pounds. Well, busy. they can get kind of big at that, age, at that weight, but all right. Mira, are you ticklish? You going with me down this road? Here we go. All Here right, come the right, dong right, jokes. All right, all right go ahead. Right, go ahead. Right, what do you think? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Come down and waste away with me. It's Morning Combat, Monday, January 27th, 2020. I think I got that date right. You're looking at your boy, the Brian Campbell of CBS Sports. This is not Luke Thomas. Nope. It's a much more new and improved edition. Smelt. The man who Looking used good. to do a little on the show, but that little got more and more. The man in the hat, Chuck Middenhall of TheAthletic.com yeah, yeah. and a fantastic podcast that I'll never remember the name of. The man in the myth. How can the you man in the Watch. damn myth. Uh, Fight morning, Combat, man. of course, is the best way to start your week because we pull no punches, Chuck. All yeah. right? We bring it. You know what I'm saying? Okay? Uh -huh. I mean, I could lay awake just to hear you breathing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Hey, let's, We're already there. Let's like three start minutes in. this damn show. Like he, he feels Ooh. invincible at this weight. Looks like and that's kind of what you want, right? Looks, like you want to feel that way. Yeah, like it's looks, a guy like, this guy's walking around the cage RDA. like he's Mr. International, yeah. player with a passport. He's just like Aladdin, bitch, right? Yes. He'll do anything <laughs> you ask for. All right. There you go. Uh, here, the, here it is. Uh, he closed the, the oh victory with bragging that he's the biggest puncher yeah, in the walkway division, and no one's talking about it. Turns out this guy with the uh, with the yellow ha had a machine head and it was better than the rest and he was able to survive. <laughs> I think the fact though that he didn't look spectacular yet certainly has a big name. Always here packs it. Right, here we go. Let's load it up. Let's look Jay and put it in the holster. Uh, all right. Yeah. There you go. We're, we're live. We'll do a live. Just a little donkey. A little dead air. Never hurt anybody, right? This is, this is great. Yeah. So yeah, Chuck. I was down at the New Amsterdam. You know, talking to this yellow haired uh -huh. girl. All right. All right. Now, Luke, you say that uh, we got nothing in common, right? I don't say that. You say that. No common ground to start from. Uh, right? you, I, okay, I know what you're doing. And we're, but also, and we're falling apart, right? You're the one who says that. I never say I that. I mean, I say, what about breakfast at Tiffany's, right? What about breakfast at Tiffany's? I remember oh, that no. today. Okay, right. it's only 1210. Jay. Jay, I alone love you, all right? I alone love you. I alone tempt you, Jay, all right? Fear is not the end of this. I saw him live once. I saw Gin Blossoms once. I passed once. out at a live concert, and, uh, and uh, Shannon Rafferty woke me up by lighting my, my chin beard on fire. It was a great day, great day in my life, you know? It was solid. Take this video, copy that link, hit the share button, and let them know about it, okay? We really yeah, appreciate we're that. Back. We're back, we're coming back around again. This yes. is for the people of the sun, okay? This is the only show of its, of its kind in combat sports, all right? You want the realest of the real takes, right? We're damn good too. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, so you're doing you're doing you're doing evil empire lyrics now from no, Rage Against I'm, the Machine. I'm all over. I'm all over the place. All right, okay, very you know? good. Uh, you're you can't just be any geek off the street and come out of this set. And, Certainly, right? you got to be good with the steel. Also, I gotta say this. Earn your keep. I've never liked that song, Regulators. I'm the only person alive. I was like, I was like, I realize what you're about to say. Wow. Blasphemy. I'm in the wrong. I can't defend it. I'd just be lying to you if I thought it cranked. It doesn't. It cranks hard. Okay. One last thing on 247 before we move along. Any other storyline on that card? People are bagging on this card, Dude, Brian this Campbell. Card, this card is bad, Luke. Yeah, we, it's not we, great. We, we bring the real takes, right? We tell it like it is and how it could be. Uh, do we? I don't know. What, we, what are you going to say? And of course, how it should be, right? Here we go. I mean, those who think it's dirty, they have a choice, right? Can you be normal? Anyway, uh, this card sucks. Am I in, in, in tree? Oh. Yes. All right. Uh, I got another one here. It's an insane fall away kick. Luke, watch the guy in the red Schwartz. He's tweaking on a whole new level. G-Funk, step to this. I dare you. Wow. Oh, is he going to testify in church? Let's see. Does he testify? No. Here, hold this. Hey, Luke, we made it through all the way through. Have you seen the shit? Wow. With no no stick I have, tricks? I have another job. No please. dongs. We got to get going. It's odds and ends. To, what is... What, no, no. What is this? Shotgun bang. What's up with that thing? I want to know, how does it hang, Luke? I didn't, this is, 
No, Jake, no, no. Good ball movement on that though, right? It's like the 70 New York Knicks. Who hurt you? Old Marietta. Who hurt you? Yeah, I'll tell to tell people about Please it. Please do. Look, MK Ultra is like nothing else going on in the combat world. Today. Look, we tell the truth, all right? Mm. And on Mondays at noon, work sucks, I know. This is this is the remedy right there, okay? And also, there's no, there's no marketing in this world like WOM, word of mouth. That's the number one form of marketing. So That's tell, how you can pass a lot of STDs that way, too. It's, you know, look, dual threat. Yes. Dual yes, threat. Yes. There's right, been yeah. this intriguing sort of... Facade in the desert, and now he wants to be real. Let's let's find out. You mean mirage in the desert? Mirage, facade. Uh, facade. Who's putting facades up in the I desert? I mean, look, my my factory. I mean, I'm, I've never made it as a wise man, right? <laughs> I really couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing either. All right, nickel nickel fail over here. Uh, with We're that, like nickel whack, all right? Nickel whack, yes. Uh, would that be like rubbing your eyes because it may not look familiar? It's the same morning combat energy, the same dynamic duo. But Brian Campbell, it is a brand new set. Luke, some got hopes and dreams. We got ways and means. Check out this new <laughs> motif, right? You know, we're blowing up like they probably thought we would, but you yeah. can crawl the crib, same number, same bomb shelter, just some added decorations here. You, Your side, very peaceful, very zen. Which, which, by the way, I did not ask for. They just put it that way, but I'm not, I'm not I don't like some it, Some people on Twitter are saying very massage parlor-esque. Very, very. Mine's a little bit more rugged. There's yeah. tips, there's construction, there's, yeah. Yeah, your, again, I said, mine is Orchids of Asia, where the owner of the Patriots gets handies, and then yours is... The Narcos All set, right, cool. and the reason why it was considered to be a little bit weird is because they had about 300 million in cash reserves, which means your dividend is typically going to be around 30 to 50 million dollars. Well, they just drained the whole shit. They gave the whole thing away. Goodness gracious, the papers, right? So, the they, cash so, at? so New York Where Post was like, at? "Why are you doing that?" And their reasoning was, again, this is probably debatable. UFC did not comment, neither did Endeavor on the story. But remember, Endeavor in 2019, among other businesses, Uber and other ones, we work had that failed IPO, yes. and a bunch of people were expecting money from the IPO who had the stock. This was apparently their way of using essentially the, the, the UFC as Endeavor as an ATM to pay back pissed off people who were waiting for an IPO that never came around. Your thoughts? You, you uh, are, don't, what are you, do you have, do you live with animals? Do you have dogs? I have two dogs and two cats. I mean. And two kids. Uh, One wife though, Luke. And two bars, and I got bees on my D's like I'm Chico de Barge. Look, the point being is... Wow, wow, can we get a, some yeah, kind of reference the, for Luke right the, there? The, it's from uh, DJ, DJ Clue. Uh, right, the point man. being is... It is always, it's always got a lot of... There's always eight people at the top that you're like, oh, that person could beat that person. And I can't get enough. I can't yeah. get enough of the women's draw weights. And, yeah. and the only thing I'll ever ask you about that is you got to promise not to stop when I say win, all right? All right. She's saying, right? Wow. All right. That will wrap up the uh, biggest topics of the week. Now I want to get this echo out of my ear, Jay. And I want to hear Campbell. from the first. Oh, that's your new name. First row, more, Brian Campbell. More on that to come. Um, it's, no, it's good, dude. But, you know, it's a crack and we're back and. We're standing on the rooftop shouting out that, yeah, baby, we're ready to go, but that nobody does this show, Luke. This is unique. This is the only place that you can come correct on a Monday morning and get your combat fix. Welcome to Orchids of Combat. We're ready. And right? by the way, before we get started. How do you like your endings? Good. Happy. Let's get to this first, though. Please do me a solid. Don't touch me. Please do me a solid. What was when you hung out with people, you hung out with them. I feel like I had a hundred more friends back then than I do now. Because yeah. you had really had to work on the wow, You really are a sad huh? person, huh? No, I, I'm, I'm, it's called being an adult, Jason. Okay, get out of my ear. Um, uh, so here, I'll say this. Look, how many special people change, right? How many lives are living strange, right, Luke? Where were you while we were getting high? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll say this for the differences for the 90s. This is uh, how the me. Dagestanis celebrate. Luke, they shooting made you look. You're a slave to a page in my rhyme book. With the old Andre Karolinko. Look at these mother efforts. Now watch this guy in the black jacket. He's he's hiding one. Look at him, look at him pull that piece out. I gotta get in on this. We gotta shoot some shit. These Khabib, Khabib fans are great, Luke. I'd love if these guys go in the arena April 18th in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. We probably got two months to talk movies, so maybe I should Yeah, we don't, we don't need to overload this episode. We're gonna have plenty of time to get to it. But it was Dave Grohl who said, it's times like these we learn to love again, Luke. Um, are you ready during this process maybe to just Put down your arms for good and repair all the broken relationships in your life, Luke. First and Fuck foremost, no. you'll want a young J check. I can facilitate no. this, Luke. Follow her on IG pants I optional, have, I have, bro. I have zero interest in it. Brian, how are you, my good friend? I'm hanging in there. I'm doing so much better this week, Luke, and I hope that, uh, that we can say the same about our listeners as these are trying, unprecedented times. But as you can look around, 
This sure ain't the swamps of Jersey, Luke. We've changed a lot and then, some, some. But you know our viewers have always been down, down. And Luke, if I ever didn't thank them, let me do that right now. Because these people are passionate. They've wanted us back in their lives. Shout out to Showtime. Shout out to Malka for sending us some equipment. All, all I need is one mic, Luke, and I'm ready to go. I can't tell what is what is worse, your 311 reference or that self-made barracks cut that you're sporting here on today's well, show. Look, here's the deal, <laughs> you Luke. See that they were just drafting bakers and delivery boys and carpenters and then sticking them in these remote islands without good battle plans or tactics or warfare understanding. And this is at the end of the war between the Americans and the Japanese, and they get stuck on Iwo Jima with its black sand. Holy crap, that movie is good. You've All right, got that's next that in my rotation, okay? Like like All Kurosawa, right. I watch mad films, and if I did, they'd have a samurai. All right, Luke, <laughs> it's been one week since you looked at me. Let's keep going. Is okay? that a bare, bare naked ladies? Bare yeah, naked yeah. ladies? Reluctantly, Our I did drop. That's a 90s. There you go. There it is. There All right, 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 let's do it. It's time Your for time team. has a large catalog of both MMA and boxing fights. We could do this again in either sport if people like it. You know, I'll have my people call your people, Luke. We can do this every weekend, you know? I'm down with that. All right, here we go. Jake, we get Second the time around. Look at that creature there, of the right. Black Lagoon thank you. there. Please, thank you. All right, Say it's part again? two here, Luke. You ready? You know, of the trunk and, and, and shoe and glove combos, what Vasquez is pulling off here with the red and black in the third fight might be the best look of the, uh, of the six we've seen in this rivalry, Luke. Agreed. I like it the most. The blue, I wasn't really feeling. Uh, I forgot what he, oh, the, he had a red and white in the last one, which was okay. The red and black is just a winning combo at all times. I remember when you had the red and black lumberjack with the, uh, with the hat to match. With the hat to match, yeah. You never thought that hip hop would make it this far. No, no, I mean, but you know, oddly enough, now I'm in the limelight because I can rhyme tight, okay? <laughs> Right. Time to get paid. Blow up like the don't, don't finish. Don't fin How dare you? Don't finish that, all right? Well, you know, Some it's the first one, not please. the second one, you know. I got it. Okay. How much scar tissue do you think Vasquez has, even today, Luke? Oh, my God. His face The kind of is... scar tissue that I wish you saw, right? I mean, his face has just been put through a blender. Like the, here's the funny thing about it. We're only showing the first three fights. You actually have to see the fourth one. Oh, the fourth to really one's appreciate a little, yeah. how bad it's yeah. gotten. In, in terms of how beautiful we were, we rightfully remember these first three fights. The fourth one is the equivalent, Luke, of after last call in a really crappy bar where there's like 25 cent beer night when they turn the lights on, yeah. and then you get a look at who you were grinding with earlier in the <laughs> night to like Ja Rule, and you're like, oh no, oh yeah. my god, no, it's the, it's the slump buster. Yeah, it's the yeah. Buster. Oh, I mean, uh, shout out to Ja Rule though, Luke. He's not always there when you call, but that brother always on time. All right. Is that a '90s or is that an aughts? It's an aughts. It's about yeah. a yeah. It's an aughts. Yeah. Okay. What are you What are you weighing in at right now? Be honest with the viewers, Luke. Oh, gotta be with with the post, you know, coronavirus bulking. I gotta be hitting up 280 or plus. Oh Big. my God! Is that that's a career high, right? You're pushing three bills, bro. Come yeah. on, bro. Hi, hi, right? Hi. I mean, I yeah, I called you fat. Look at me, get, I'm skinny. It isn't stopping get down me from quickly, getting busy. Yeah. Um, so I'm at a career high two two nine at the moment, Luke. And when I, if you give me three to six months, I'll get down to cruiserweight. All right. I don't know if we match up in the same weight division. Also, we got to go deadlift together first. You owe me that. I don't know. That's. I mean, do guys really get together and deadlift, Luke? That's yes, not really how it was raised. Deadlift right? parties. That's actually a real thing. And week to moment. week, our emotions changed during this unprecedented pandemic, right? A couple days ago, I would have told you I've seen better days. Been the star of many plays, Luke. But I'm back right now, feeling good. Took a few steps back from the alcohol intake and the and the war movie consumption. Got to get back on an even playing field right now. Level those emotions out. Because if you watch the, the news too much, Luke, or follow your Twitter account, it can get pretty dicey during this. But we're in this together, brother. And can I threaten the people one more time? Look, how much does this show cost, okay? For you guys, nothing, okay? You know what I'm saying here? So, uh... I like coffee and I like tea, but to be able to enter a final plea, hit that damn subscribe button. Don't give me the runaround, all right? Thank you. Love the, blues, love the blues, traveler donks. Uh, 
Okay, well, let's get into it but if we can. Just as an example, I was at Adesanya Gastelum last year. There are those times where, you know, you look around you and you're like, are, are you as high as I am? Are you feeling what I'm feeling? This is such euphoric, savage theater that, I, that I'm at a 28 out of 10 right now. And everybody that's in this arena, especially Winky Wright, Artie Palulo, Bob, you know, T uh, Bob Arum, Todd DeBuff, Chavez Sr., People are going sick, Luke. They're just losing their ish during this fight. It's that great. Have you ever lost yourself, all right? Mom Spaghetti, I mean, have you ever been there at a great fight, Luke, and just involuntarily stood yes. up? Near, far, wherever the hell you are, you better believe that morning combat will go on. I know what you're thinking, right? High and tight, just like Luke's high school dating preference. But I uh, had a little <laughs> little mishap, Luke, last night at the uh, with the uh, with the Razors. I, I was nervous. I, I really don't want the world to see me because I, I don't think that they'd understand. But uh, I'm back. I'm ready. Let's do this. Everything's made to be broken, Luke. I just want you to know who I am. Let's do this. Yeah, well, everything falls apart, as they say. Uh, you know, this, th that's the reality with Barracks. Brian Campbell. Brian, yes, how are Luke, you, my it's, friend? Uh, BC want to hit you. That's what I do. So what you want to do, Luke? Me, I want to shoot. This is the best part of my week, Luke. And in this hamster wheel of the ridiculousness of coronavirus quarantine, I'm back on the happy side this week. All right, so let's start out with a little bit of a bang. Uh, this is the only show, of course, that hits the skins for the hell of it. Just for the yell we get. Mm, mm, mm. For the smell. Okay, sorry. Sorry. All right, you, took, you took a little long with that one. But nevertheless, I appreciate uh, your enthusiasm. Let's ride that bipolar wave of happiness for today's what program. What that value is versus the cost, I think there needs to be some re-exploration of that. It's not clear to me exactly how good that is. Yeah, All right. Shout out, nope. It's not exactly a 90s reference, but shout out to you quoting Axl Rose. Just we, All we need is a little patience, Luke, right? I've been walking the street tonight. Just trying to get it right. All right, well, I did that on that board. Sorry, I was, on, I, I was hooked on a feeling there. Sorry, Luke. Yeah, you're making things weird. Don't make things weird, BC. All right, let's go to our second topic here, Brian. What are all the experts, not me, what are all the experts saying we need to have to open up again? We need to have or th three times per day as many tests as we have now and an army of contact tracers to get there. We have neither of those things. So where is this confidence coming from? Just because you want to be happy? Well, everybody wants to be happy. I'd rather understand what I'm up against. All right. If that's the case, you're going to get, you're just giving me a lot of murder is the case you're going to give me. And, I, and uh, I'm going to give you a middle ground, Luke. <laughs> and that middle ground begins between February and April of next year. I'll see you at the fights, Luke. I mean, there's almost nothing you could offer me that I wouldn't say yes to for a February 1 20K bet. Okay. That is taking candy from a baby. Luke, I believe, okay? I believe I can fly. I believe in the human spirit. Do you believe I that believe love that is the as, answer? I believe that as... I believe in life after love. Thank you, Cher. I believe that as a society, we are prepared to bounce back. Okay, Luke? Yeah, well, all of those nice platitudes run headlong into the uh, actual challenges. Luke, come down Just and waste them. away with me, okay? Ever long. Because that's really how I like to get down, all right? Ever long. Um, I did want to ask you a UFC question real quick. Yeah. Round seven per J. Round seven, here so we are. Lightning crashes and old mother dies. And by, the, by the way, by the way, when the, when the leading fighter is almost jogging to intercept the retreating fighter, yes. that's when you yes. know it's bad. Oh, I'm doing great, Luke. I am fired up. Loves what I got. Don't start a riot. Fights were back this weekend. I was injected. I am ready. I am fired up. I am pale and washy. Can't change that during the quarantine, but can change my optimistical thoughts about the future, Luke. This show was designed, as you like to often say, uh, to react to fights. All right, Luke, when you go to a summer cookout and um, you're offered Tupac, what song are you going to first? Oh, the blind stares of a million pairs of eyes. Looking on but can't realize they will never see the really? peak. That, burr, that's burr, gonna burr, be, burr. That's gonna be the first pick? Yeah, that's the number one go to. Okay. Okay. What's well, supposed to be like Dear Mama? Fuck you. I'm not putting on no. Dear Mama. You can put that on. 
<laughs> well, she is appreciated. You got to give her that, right? I mean, and even though she yeah. sales rocks, I love putting money in her mailbox. I mean, I'm not asking you, you for Brenda, on. you know, putting the baby in the trash can or anything, but um, yeah. All right. CBS Sports, among many other places as well. Uh, it's the one and only Brian Campbell. Hi, Brian. Top of the morning to you. Hello, Luke. I'm hearing you uh, wacko, 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 remix style there. Hopefully the people are able to hear your voice effectively. I'm sure Jay can jump on that. But as you already know, Luke, we be the outcast down for the settle. Don't play rock. Don't play the pebble. What we do bring you, though, is the most innovative. It is me, Jay. Yeah, Jay, you, you. Jay, you, you can't, you finish, can't interrupt finish, the show 10 finish, seconds, finish, finish your weird intro. Come on. Yeah. There's, air, Come there's on. dead air. Finish your, finish your thing. Come on. All right, why don't, you, why don't you zoom in on Luke? I'll fix my audio. All right, here, okay. Luke. So red solo cups for everybody. All right, uh, we'll get back to BC here in just a second. Quarantine and the pandemic is a time to just to make some changes, BC. I, I, I think he absolutely wants it. Yeah, it's up to us as a people to make some changes, right? Change the way we eat, change the way we treat each other. Maybe shout out Jay for saving the show earlier. Maybe actually understand that John Jones did get that booty call in Albuquerque when he got pulled over. We can't avoid the truth. You know what I'm saying, Luke? Uh, I'll leave that uh, that very capable analysis to you. Let's do this, BC. Uh, that's We're starting to put a few of those in the uh, in the chamber, so to speak. We're going to shoot them off like fireworks. And uh, just to echo what you're saying real quick, Luke, I don't want to be the bad guy, but I don't really want to do your sleepwalk dance anymore. These people need to hit subscribe because this rocket ship, it, it's going somewhere and we want you to come along with us uh, cashing them checks. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's do it. Let's do this MK revolution. What would Luke and Brian's call signs be if they were fighter jet pilots? <laughs> Top Gun, baby. Yeah. 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 What do you Luke, think? Luke, I fancy myself be? a goose, right? I, I sort of fit that mold, right? Yeah, I guess so. I definitely see myself as Val Kilmer in that movie. For sure. Luke, the bad I would guy. take you on the highway to the danger zone, okay? <laughs> I was bitter that the pandemic pushed that's back the, uh, the sequel. I know, I know. It's the song. I get it. I, I just no sold it. Uh, no, that's they, J, J put up the 90s counter. Got oh, it. did okay. he? Okay. Look, I think uh, boxing promoters are, are, are in a much worse spot than the big MMA ones who are more reliant on TV deals and. and it's going to be interesting, Luke, but hopefully by February 1st, 2021, we can get people back into arenas. And uh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, yeah maybe, by that point, maybe, will, maybe in Taipei and Seoul. That's about it. Hopefully, you will swallow your doubt, turn it inside out, Luke, and find faith in nothing, as you always do. Uh, uh, Luke, also on odds and ends, review on Saturday turned out to be magical. It was great. Everything was fantastic. It could have been a dud where you look back and you go, hey, you had Nunes in the main event. You didn't really have anybody else that could sell it. Well, it doesn't matter because ESPN's giving them that minimum amount, which is a lot of money. Uh, fighters ain't getting that, Luke, right? So um, the, it's really hard to to take your to take the thing out and, and and swing it, Luke. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to know. do that right now. Yeah, I don't right? know what that I, I don't mean, know what that last sentence means, but I'll, I'll say this, you know. Well, Luke, I, I, if you if you got a big, ah, let me search it, right? <laughs> Listen, Missy Elliot, keep your hands to yourself. But here's my point. Uh, the say it's a 90s counter, but wouldn't that be a 2000s counter? But yeah, okay. Jay, I mean, Jay's, you know. Jay, Jay, Jay's a nerd who wears white glasses. I mean, what do you want yeah, from the guy? Yeah. Listen. I follow Jay's dog on Instagram. Look look where the quarantine has me right now. Okay, thank you. Here, yeah, my parents have already bought, I think, everything that the store sells. So shout out to them. I don't know if Rob Thomas has purchased anything, Luke. I know he's not crazy. He's just a little unwell, but... Uh, I'm a big fan of that guy, all right? He doesn't know the name of this program. I want you to understand that. <laughs> He's yeah. never going to know it. He doesn't care. All he cares about is, is your mortgage paid and is your wife happy? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Are you putting okay. money in your 401k? Yes, Dad, I am. All right, click. That's the extent of our conversations. You understand? All right. So, he would kick but, my ass for calling him Rob, too. I'll see, care what you. are you sipping on on this yes. great evening? You know, I always try to drink local, so I've been representing Relic Brewing out of Plainville, Connecticut, many a week during this quarantine. The Funeral can, Song can IPA. Put, can you put the uh, the can up close to the camera? Oh, yeah. The Funeral Song double IPA is fan friggin' tastic. All right, that's what I'll be rocking out. Maybe a little bit of... Uh Maybe a little bit of Too Juicy from Two Roads in uh, Milford, Connecticut, as well. Stratford, Connecticut, sorry, as well. Luke, I'm sure you're drinking something that will dissolve most of your inner organs and, uh, and, and let them, you know, it's better to burn out than fade away. So what do you got, I, Luke? I got to tell you, I'm having a college night tonight. Uh, forgot to buy bourbon. Forgot to buy ice. All I had left in the cabinet, and this is not a joke, 
is rail vodka, which I had nothing to mix with. I don't have any like juices in the house. Yeah. So I have rail vodka and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Botha is nimble for a guy who works at, uh, you know, he Best, Subway. He works at Best Buy, Luke, in the, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the uh, washer dryer area. <laughs> Dude, he's nimble. He's nimble for a guy who uh, scoops ice cream at Baskin Robbins. Yeah, I mean, you know, in fact, he's quick and nimble. I've I have it on authority that he goes crazy when he hears a symbol, Luke, on a hi hat. Souped up tempo. <laughs> no, You're so right. stupid. <laughs> so since this is third chapter, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta go big on the bear right there. Although, look, so here's the deal. The other day, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, Luke. I there do. was a beer in my a bear in my neighbor's yard. I which saw is not, that motherfucker, not dude. Not abnormal. Not abnormal. Hold on, but that was a, that was on the on the on the scale of like how big bears get. That's a very small bear. Uh, it's pretty big, pretty big in these parts. Um, bro, that's that's a, that was a black bear. That was a very small bear. I mean, it's not a grizzly. Yeah, it's it's a black bear. It's a forest bear. My kids are in the garage playing, and the bear's like twenty yards away, and they call me on their cell phone like, "Hey, Dad, there's a bear outside." Like, I'm like, "Get the f inside!" Yet, after I yelled at them, I went out there and got within like you know fifteen yards of him and was taking pictures. You did of not get within fifteen much. yards. You got did, in your car in like, and honked at him. I did. I got close. I got a lot of footage on my phone. And uh, he turned his face at me, and I turned and ran away. Ran away. I will admit that, because he's a freaking bear, Luke, okay? Okay, but, but let's say se so is, 70%. Let me say this. He's got a broken leg. One of his one of his four legs. He's going to finish have, me if I can't and you have a side. And you have a spear. And, hunt, and by the way, they want to hunt your kids. I bet you could win well, that. Look, his nature is to is to eat my flesh. So, you know, he's he's naughty by nature, not because he hates you, right? Like that's who he is. Like he's coming to to take your heart, take your soul, right? To eat your children. Um, you know, Luke, I, you want to talk about brand diversification, right? You know, if you you may love the wild rough and tumble Monday show, but you know, just like a prime LL Cool J, we got something for the ladies too, right? You want to get serious? Jump into Dissected. You want to get crazy? Hit us up on Friday night's Morning Combat Classics as we just did a few days ago. Take that, right? Competitors, take that. That's right. Uh, something for everybody. Just buy what we have, will you? Please. For hey, Luke, I don't, I don't see our competition dressed up in their own merch, all right? You know what I mean? So F them as a staff, record label, and as a crew. And if you want to be down with them, then F you too, all right? Chino XL, you know what I'm talking about here, okay? Uh, all of you can die. Uh, all right. Let's get the show started if we I get can. It. I get Jorge Masvidal, right? I mean, you know, he's a rider, but still he's just a simple man. All he wants is money. F the fame. He's a simple man. Uh, the money's not there right now. And I thought it was interesting, Luke, from some reporting from uh, Ariel Hawani of ESPN, that UFC did go back to the well ahead of the announcement of this 251 card and was like, okay, Jorge, you can get what we paid you for the Diaz or for the Nate Diaz fight. We'll double the original offer. And he still was like, no, F off. This is about principle. So this is getting very interesting so, Luke. yes uh, Gilbert Burns absolutely took advantage of the pandemic where that was supposed to be a Leon Edwards's opportunity he came in there and beat uh, Tyron Woodley and then said yes when another guy in, in Jorge Masvidal said no so uh, it won't benefit everyone all the time but it will do a lot of favors for yourself no doubt about it yeah I think Tupac uh, said it best about this you know in and out just like a robbery I'll probably be a freak and let you get on top of me UFC will do the same if you're willing all right, this comes to us from Just Maize One. Get out of this white dude just getting sent to hell. Get out the way, yo. Get out the way, yo. Oh, that white no. kid just got dropped. Oh, oh yeah. no. He was killing everybody there. I know. The problem is you got to make the shot after that, right? You got to get oh. on your guy's airball. Like, come on. He kills the white guy, kills the black guy. Oh. How did he not take the shot there? Who was defending I know, him? I know. Hot Sauce would have shot that, right? Honk. Oh, man. They got to give a thumbs up. They got to subscribe. They got to hit that yeah, notification please. bell. I mean, please. You know what I mean? It's like, remember when I used to let you sleep on the couch? Beg your bitch to let me sleep in the house. I mean, come on. Can you guys support us in that way? I, a shout out to everybody who's bought merch. We really appreciate it. But you know what's free? Supporting us by subscribing. So please can carry on. How was on your Father's that? Day weekend? 
Oh, fantastic. Fantastic, Luke. Good times. Great oldies. A lot of sun. A lot of children. Great stuff. Good, you know, fired up as heck. Uh, you know, I had a long, had a long battle with this guy right here, but I've put him back together as I have my own feelings and mental health over the weekend. So, uh, like Nas, all I need is one mic. I'm ready to go. A little change of the scenery back here, channeling my spirit animal. You want a champion because like her, we both have a bone to pick with you, Luke, and we're savages. So let's do it. Let's get fired up. What did I do to you? I didn't do anything to you. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I don't know. Uh, well, very bad. good. Uh, please, try, sub- try Showtime. Hit subscribe. The only thing we'll ever ask of you, of course, you got to promise not to stop when I say when. It's Showtime. Let's do it, Luke. And if you want some merch, store.show.com, best place to go. I still have not received my merch. Uh, have you gotten yours yet? No, that was a complaint I had with the Showtime staff to, to, uh, before the show. Just a uh, fourth wall removal. Yes. I would like to wear morning combat gear like a true loser when I do morning combat. Uh, it yeah, it's would like be... wearing the t-shirt of your favorite brand to the concert of your favorite band, right? That's it funny. is. I just don't care about those rules anymore. I'm 40 and old and a dad. It's uh, It doesn't matter to me anymore. You know what This person writes, I listened to an interview with Helwani and Paige Van Zant talking about the main card fighters, talking about UFC 251, are having to fight at 6 a.m. in the morning on the Ooh. Fight Island pay-per-view. And by the way, if you saw the interview, Paige Van Zandt was like, seriously? Uh, are you guys, she didn't know. Are you guys surprised this hasn't been talked about more? Now, BC, I had Amanda Hebas on my show who is fighting uh, Paige Van Zandt. She did, and she, she was like, yeah, too. that's crazy, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. What do you think? Uh, we got some freaks on Fight Island getting it on, and they can't fight until 6 in the morning, Luke. So what you want to do? Uh, look, you know, what's most important here for UFC is is primetime viewers on not only ESPN for the undercard, but obviously the pay-per-view. And yet here we are. Uh, I am so honored to be a year into this project. Whenever you do these things, you know how it goes, man. You just never know what's going to exactly. happen and blah, blah, blah. For us to be here in the way that we are, I got to tell you, I, I'm, a, I'm a lot more than pleased. I'm I'm grateful. I mean, look how this whole show came together, right? It's something unpredictable. But in the end, you know, it feels right, Luke. And I, and I hope you've had the time of your life. I certainly have. I mean, I don't usually day drink. But when I do, I do it out of this morning combat uh, glass right here. So I hope many of you people are doing the same out there. And, Luke, it's not just one year from where we started, right? Started in the bomb shelter. Now we're here. It's episode 50 this week. So... Like you mentioned, you never quite know. Is it going to catch on? Will people embrace it? Uh, People already know that if you want to be our lovers, you got to get with our friends. And we've had a lot of help from our friends here, Luke. Not just you and I, the great folks at Malka. Jay in our ear hole. Showtime promoting and producing. Uh, Hashtag fired up as usual, Luke. Uh, Fun fight card over the weekend for the most part. Great weather, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Temperature about 88. Hop in the water plug. Just for old time's sake, uh, I'm fired up. I'm ready. We're in the midst of Fight Island. We got a lot of great stuff on today's show. You know, you know, you know how we do it, right? It's a groove, slightly transformed, just a bit of a break from the norm, but we bring it on MK like no other. We certainly do. A few housekeeping notes as we get the 90s counter rocking early. Number one, give the video a, a thumbs bad up. system is going to make good or okay judges bad. We have a bad system. You cannot yes. get optimal responses in a bad system and it is time for the ufc to try some experimentation maybe yours maybe my idea i don't care but what we have is broken and it's never going to be fixed just leaving it the way that it is i agree with a lot of what you said in fact the same black line that was drawn on you was drawn on me and and now it's drawn me in because my my adjustment to the current system still kind of leaves potential evolutionary problems and you're still doing again a 10-9 boxing system in five minute rounds with much more discipline i want to oversell something before we see it to know exactly what it might look like but i'm just saying bc hold on i'm just saying how would it go what would it look like i don't know and it's for those reasons that i cannot wait to see it 
A cotton candy sweetened to go. Let me see that Tootsie Roll, Luke, right now. That is among the best four or five fights you can make in this sport. I said it last but week. What a performance and what a win after the fight. How many tweets did you see of people like straight up falling in love with, with her uh, humbleness, her goofiness, her, you know, everything about the whole, you know, Brazilian product that she put out there, broken English and joy and all that, you know? I mean, I, I wasn't Sophie B. hawking her and, and dropping a damn I wish I was your lover, but I want to know her now. You know what I'm saying? This is a big win. Yeah, I interviewed her before the fights, and she is just completely pleasant. She's the nicest MMA fighter I think I've ever interviewed, and that's saying something because there's some Roxanne Motiferis out there. There's some Stephen Wonderboy Thompsons out there, and they'll give Amanda a run for her money when it comes to being nice, but she is just incredible. Right. Plus, uh, Look, I just want, want to remind people that they need to get on board now because pretty soon... Uh, all around the world, statues will be crumbling for me, right? And and we'll we'll remember who knows how long that that you've loved us. So get on board now, and because uh, I just want to fly. Let's do this thing, all right? If you want uh, to follow us on Twitter or Instagram individually, you certainly can. We have to get Fired out of here. The heck up, Luke, on so many fronts. Yes, it's BC and Professor S and the P want to kick with us. Cool. We're Wicked G, we'll hit the skins but never quickly. And we're back, Luke, with a bang. If people could only see the way we love them, then maybe they would understand, Luke, that big things are happening in the MK universe. I wish I could show, you know, I wish I could show you mine. Maybe you could show me yours, but uh, I think we could take it in it steps. Is. Look, we, to be honest, we want to wake up where you are. And, you know, we won't touch anything at all, but but why don't you slide into our DMs, <laughs> into that, that little button there to click, uh... Because I say it a lot, and people say, okay, I'm getting tired of hearing that this rocket ship is taking off. I'm telling you, okay? Happy endings for all, craft included. Uh, I want to talk Fizia uh, for days, but give my my, my brother, Askar Askarov, the, the love he deserves, Luke. All right, so with that in mind, who else in that card impressed you? No, I just challenged you to love the man, Luke, to, to, to just accept it. This guy is a stud. Yeah, he's great. Okay, who else in the card impressed you? Wow, wow. Okay, okay, what? Wake up, kids. We got the dreamer's disease. All right. Uh, uh, look, it, it was Rafael Fiziev all day at lightweight against Marcia Casey. Uh, every, this is unbeaten, unified junior welterweight champion in the red shirt, Josh Taylor, the tartan tornado of Scotland. He's about to get a kiss from a rose here on this seal. Would you try this, Luke? Would you be down and for that, this? I was like, wasn't that Fury's former trainer? Yes, yes. Uh, ben Davidson, yeah. who is now Taylor's new trainer. Uh, oh, wow. Caught him off guard. He tweeted out, I shat a brick when this happened. What else right. they got to do, BC? They got to understand that, um, you know, we ain't our competitors. This is a different show, okay? We, we, we see what you're doing, competitors, right? Fashion shoots with Beck and Hanson, Courtney Love and Marilyn Manson. You're all fakes. Run to your mansions. Come around. We'll kick your ass in. Nobody's doing what this show is, Luke, and it's about to... Uh, take over the world okay you've got the music in you luke okay uh yeah. so I, i'm i'm fired up i'm fired up for the future it's going to take you subscribing it's going to take you supporting it's going to take you buying our merch and it's very comfortably worn but what but about the bare, people that, bare will, minimum that will second. email and say uh you know what about jay the 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 director the producer the, i'm the, sorry i can't i can't maestro. hear him because of the uh, stealth bomber that's fucking flying <laughs> right next to his ear <laughs> Sorry, you know. Jay, you were only coming through in waves. Your lips move, but I can't hear what you say. I know. It's like, Jay, why is your podcast studio at Cape Canaveral where, Na where NASA is launching fucking SpaceX shit into orbit? Why are, why are you doing that? I had no idea what you were doing that for. That makes no sense. <sighs> Just saying. All I know is if I come back next week and the damn schmo replaced me, you know, so we're going to have problems. Let's right? keep that momentum going into this week. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Re you. Ready or not. You're right. You can't hide. We're going to find you and make you subscribe. So please join this 90s party. Let's do this. All right. And without further ado, that's what I don't understand. How, how do I have pit stains this bad right now? Luke? That's what I want to know. You got, you're nervous. You're nervous. Coming I mean, back your just, first show. God, good Lord. Uh, yeah, he should have been booked on. That is a bad. Wow. That was a real gross one. Yeah, he should have been booked on Fight Island. I don't know, Luke. This is for the questions that don't have any answers, right? Your midnight glances and your topless answers uh from brantendo boxers or briefs uh you know what i do on vacation luke do you know those masturbate um, endlessly no stop i'm a fan i'm a family man you're so gross luke um, okay masturbate endlessly when your family goes to sleep <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Wow. How do I recover from that? Um, I wear them. Um, I'm wearing them right now. I wear those Nike running shorts that have the built-in underwear that can double as a bathing suit. I got two or three pair of those, Luke. I'll wear them the entire vacation because you can swim in them. If they dry in time, you can sleep in them. You can sweat balls in them. They're very versatile. And I think that answers the whole uh, boxer brief dilemma. There's no dilemma. Wear the built-in underwear, Andre, or just wear nothing. It's vacation, all right? Do you know how many times I had stains all over my shirt from snack food and beer? It was fantastic, Luke, okay? Outdoor speakers at the lake home. I was rocking, I was yacht rock playing 24-7. It was great, all right? Yeah, I mean, the answer for me is vacation or no vacation. The answer is both. I wear boxer briefs. I wear the briefs that are boxers or the boxers that are briefs. I feel like that's the best of both worlds, BC. A little bit of comfort, a little bit of stability, and uh, you don't look like the oldest old man at the uh, gym who puts his shoes yeah. on before his underwear. You're a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I got it, Luke. I got it. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. He sent Little Beaver to hell, Luke. He did. Oh, he really dude, did. Dude, what are you doing? Uh, did they really do this? Yeah, they did. It was a six-man tag match. But Bundy broke the rules. The big guys weren't supposed to fight the little guys, so he got DQ'd. But you know what's great about this is they came to each other's defense. All the small people defended each other, okay? You know what I'm well, saying? Well, you know, that is what members of the Lollipop Guild do. You know what I'm saying? Say it ain't so, Luke. They would not go, right? You know what I'm saying? Turn the lights down. Hey, all people think is that we show small people fails. Let's show a big small person win. Check out this ankle breaker on the hardwood, Luke. <laughs> Look, he sent Mini Me to hell right there, Luke. That is fantastic. Look at it's this. Good to know, it's, good be... to know, it's, it's good to know that black dudes are still crossing up white dudes on the court, even when they're I little. I want to say. I was sloppy today. I have really gross pit stains. I interrupted you like crazy. But you in the audience, whenever I'm alone with you, you make me feel like I am home again. So it felt really good to be back. And um, I, I can't wait, Luke. I can't wait. Uh, it was nice, Luke. I got power back finally yesterday after four and a half days without it. So that was a bit of an S show, if you will. But, you know, so is this one, Luke. And I'm fired up for this one because, as you already know, I don't care if Sunday's black. Tuesday, Wednesday, heart attack, because Monday, I'm in love, okay? With you, with all our people. Let's get talking some combat here. We're delivering here, to be quite honest yeah. with you. Mother effing right, our pocket's looking kind of tight. Let's keep doing that, Luke. By the way, I know I tease it a lot. A lot more announcements to come. This ship is moving, okay? Moving, okay? Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, I got that movement. In, I'm so fired with, up, all right? Well, with that in mind. See, uh, I just must rather see him get a big fight. I did want to jump in and basically give you a hey... Wait, I got a new complaint. I'm glad you got off that soapbox thinking he should get Nganu next, but still, he's in the right direction, Luke. If he got any either of those two fights non-Nganu, he'd be probably one to two wins away from a title shot, and that's where he needs to be Stick right to now. your strength. Well, he did that. He out-wrestled a guy whose strength is wrestling, and he looked great doing it. So, I, you know, and I'm not a Weidman guy. I got nothing bad to say about him. I get you, you're going to get a little critical there with the professor and the salt and pepper and pour a little sugar on him, but uh, in the name of love, by the way. But um, I think he looked great. I have if no anything, concern. he's trying to reclaim lost territory far from building on it. Uh, I don't even think that's he's trying possible. to change. But he's trying to change, Luke. He's trying to be a... a you know, a different fighter now because the old way wasn't working, Luke. So it was, it was certainly on him to, you know, do what he had to do to survive. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit less convinced by that. I mean, it did work just fine all the way up through the first Anderson Silva fight. He was completely undefeated. Sorry, I didn't ask you about it at the top of the show when you asked <laughs> me how my weekend was, and I selfishly had some ready-made nostalgic, corny references to sling at you. But That's Luke, I hope all, that you. I hope that you feel better. I hope you're able to celebrate yourself, even if it was by yourself. Uh, uh, you know, just 41. Hey, you know, no one, no, you know, yeah. no one gives a shit about you when you're 23 either, Luke. Okay, you know, what's my age again? That's what I'm telling you, dude. Father's Day is better than birthdays every day of the week. Uh, all right. <laughs> hey, Luke, let's check out drunk tricks. They always, they always try crazy things. Um, uh, don't be alarmed, Luke, if she falls head over feet. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't be surprised if I love her for all that she is. That is successful, Luke. What kind of balls do you need to pull that off? Dude, what sausage fest is she at? Jesus Christ. That's pretty impressive. I'll tell you, to, to, to walk away from that, that is, that's Walker not family pictures, though. Full family here. We got any uh, 
freak. Look at a Dina Howard freak like me right here. Look at Dad. Dad's like, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? That's a you know, that's a classy bunch. I know the kids are horrified, but how do you think you got here, right? You know, because your dad is shocked. Gee, the one who put the satin on your panties, right? You know what I'm calling with that. <laughs> You're stupid. BC. Okay. I'm pretty pumped for UFC 252. Where is the, uh, you know, fired up O meter for you? Uh, my thing is up. Uh, my thing's pointing upward. Jay, can you shut your mic off? Yeah, Jay, there, you want to mute your uh, microphone I mean, there? Uh, Genius. Thank you. It's a live show, Jay. I know you're on a conference call here during our live show. It's real <laughs> professional. But uh, Luke, you know me. I'm easy. A Fendi bag and a bad attitude. That's all I need to get me in a good mood. But you want to give me what I consider to be the most prestigious and important fight in UFC history. Yeah, I just took out my wad of hyperbole and smacked it against your face. But I think it's true, Luke. This fight on Saturday matters, and I am fired the hell up. The great John Sebastian once sang, Luke, what a day for a day drink yesterday, all right? But that's behind us, okay? All you viewers out there, you can breathe out so you can breathe us in. Right, MK, I am ever long with excitement and uh, and feels down below for today's episode. Not just Luke, because we're coming off uh, D say steep A three and such a historic plug event. here. I must be forgetting something. Well, plug us, Luke, because the MK just don't stop for hoes. We get around. I hope people <laughs> saw us on the uh, Showtime weigh-in feed on Friday ahead of Benavidez Angulo. And look, uh, we're not really allowed to talk about it, but once legal makes some clearances, there may be some more bonus content coming out from MK that I may have may or may not have had a hand in uh, disrupting. But uh, Luke, I think what the- <laughs> I can't, hold a second. I cannot wait to tell that story, but yes, that's true. Uh, you want to be a bantamweight buddy? <laughs> Bring a helmet. You better strap in. It is very, very difficult. And there are some questions at this point about to what extent, not that he has a bad chin, of course, but about different bodies sustain injury loads differently. And if that's an issue for him, it's going to be a long-standing one. Yeah, strap it on, strap it in, let you begin, Luke, there. Uh, I think those are fair takes, and I think that there's two things that can be mutual at the same time. That this was both correctly a breakout performance from Marlon Vera. He gets all the credit for the win and, and is able to use that to catapult, you know, into the top 10 and maybe get a top five matchup. Uh, but mean, look, uh, it know, keeps your focus, right? Ba baby, uh, you know, little in the middle, Luke, but she's got much back, right? It's also, like, sort of a smelly heavy bag, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Wow. The first thing I do is make a toss my salad. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's 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 not shut the show down here, Luke. Maybe we should move on, okay? Hey, I'm You're the one who brought it up. I'm going to need you to shout out to Edgar Berlanga right there. It's like there. full steam ahead. So, I want to thank everybody for being a part of this operation and it only I want to echo goes that. up from here. All those endless times of saying subscribe, like, saying, you know, we don't we didn't need it to or we wouldn't have a show anymore. We knew that we could go places. So, look, all you people out there who did that, that's gangsta, okay? And we got special ways to thank you. More to come in the future. Indeed. Uh, wow, wow, Luke. I got to towel off. I'm so fired up, okay? This is great. It's a great time to be alive. Well, kind of all the more terrifying that we had no idea how this thing was going to end and if anything would happen at all. Uh, Pat, I got to give you a ton of credit. Like I mentioned, in a loaded sort of year for great documentaries, you, you effed around and got a triple-double on this one. It's fantastic. You let the viewer sort of come to their own decision in terms of guilty, and not guilty. you are a full-fledged member of the Viacom CBS Network. Uh, welcome. And for you and me, Luke, right? We, we've, had a, we've had a wild run, but it was a lot like dating. Now we're going to move in together. All right, we can do this every weekend. You know what I mean? <laughs> Have my people call your people. So uh, I'm interested to, you know, ask you who your interests are, who you be with. Let's do this thing. Who's taking out the trash? Who's doing the dishes? Which Except one are you? from the beginning, right? As I knock this microphone over, we're about to blow up. This is phase one. MK, almost every day, coming your way. Uh, Luke, we got a lot of good ideas that we're going to be rolling out in the uh, weeks and months to come. So I'm so fired up to be here. Sit back, relax, put on your seatbelt. You've definitely never been on a ride like this before. Also, one quick point Nate, of clarification. Uh, I'm, I'm having doubts that he can really win a big fight anymore, Luke. I mean, there is scar tissue that I wish you saw. And I feel like that thing, his face just busts open in any fight. Um, you know, that, that first McGregor fight was the mountaintop of his career, and it's been downhill since then. And, you know, I thought maybe a year ago, two years ago, there was still life for him to be a major pay-per-view brand. Listen, listen, comms that Shemaev, hands down to me, hands down, is probably the best 
athlete fighter I've ever, ever seen in real life train. Wow. Swear to God. Ever. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm Forever, not playing. Forever, ever. Forever, like, ever? Uh, like, like, I mean, he's pretty dope, man. He's pretty dope. I was watching him train. Hello, Luke. Uh, welcome. It is Wednesday, as you said. Welcome to the takeover. It begins now. MK all day, nearly almost every day. We are, in fact, all that in a dime sack. Where the paper at? Uh, you don't need any other combat shows. It's right here, Luke. So uh, let's let's do this thing, right? I let's... know I like to crack jokes and ask how your weekend was and all that weird stuff. You like to get right to the point, brother. That's right. Uh, very quickly. John Jones is Warpath, BC. So he's just out there with the AK-47. If you know anything about the AK-47, BC, and I'm sure you don't, you can put dirt all in the barrel and it will still fire, unlike the M16A2 service rifle. But the key about it is you can do no matter what, it just sprays the block. Just gets through all the The only dirt, thing no I know, what. Luke, is about this Beretta putting holes in your sweater, okay? That's the only <laughs> thing I know about. Very good. So he's taking shots at Izzy. The main event will be women's flyweights, Kate Jackson versus Denise Kielholtz. Luke, that's not the same Kate Jackson, by the way, from uh, Charlie's Angels and Scarecrow and Mrs. King, but uh, sorry, Miss Jackson. Uh, she's for real. She's going to be in that main event. Tough break, Luke, because this is a big announcement card for a new era of Bellator, of Bellator if we're being serious here. sure when this was made the main event. Uh, Kielholtz was, and this is how you do it, right? 43 seconds. I'm sure she's sorry to, to Miss Jackson's mother. Uh, you know, never meant to make your daughter cry, but uh, this was an absolutely vicious performance, and uh, I want to see a lot more more, and I think at the very least, Luke, we're not telling you this card was all killer, no filler. At the very least, giving us something to talk about and watch here and look on to the uh, future. Hashtag fire the heck up, Luke. It is Monday morning. You know this show, right? We used to do a little. The little wouldn't do it. The little got more and more. Live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, MK all day, nearly every day. We back, baby. I'm fired up. Uh, Fun weekend of fights, Luke. So we got a lot to get into today. Uh, move away uh, from the keyboard, Chris. I say that with love and respect. I know that you came out and said, look, all those losses in a row against elite opponents, you still got a lot left. He did just bounce back with a win. I'll give him credit, Luke. I like some of the things he showed. But I, I think he's on the other half of that. And, you know, it, it was a great American poet, uh, Tupac Shakur, who once said, it's time to fight back. That's what Huey said, Luke. But two shots in the dark, and now Huey's dead, Okay. I don't think you really want this smoke, Chris Weidman. This would be a, a one-sided drubbing, and I do believe that, Luke. And I don't think he's anywhere close to be earning it in the middleweight I've been rate. saying this guy is very, very hard to beat. But you got to get out there. you got to get out there against At some point, you have to recognize it's not your fault, but the pandemic pushed you back a little bit. You're going to have to, as unfair as the world may be, BC, sometimes you have to recapture things that you already had by no fault of your own. Yep, you, you got to learn to hold your own. They get jealous when they see you with your mobile phone, right, Jay? Oh, Jay's not with us this week. Sorry, sorry. Gaff in our ear. Shout out to Gaff this week in our ear. Right? All right, BC, Gaff we're trying some, you know, a baseball game with just cutouts in the audience or these empty-ass, you know, stadiums in football. God, it feels so bizarre. It doesn't have the same... Uh, it, it doesn't feel like an event in the same kind of yeah. way. So figuring something out to solve that problem is key. Yeah, want to know the rest? Hey, by the right, how bizarre. Luke, if uh, Daniel Snyder called you up tomorrow and said, thank you for being a fan all these years. We got a big game coming up at RFK this weekend. We're going to fill the stadium, but it's going to be outdoors, so the germs will go out, and we got front row seats for you, your daughter, your lady, and Abuela. Would you accept that? And wear uh, no. Look, Mondays are the best days. This is, this is the show that started this phenomenon, right? That is morning combat right i mean you can have all the money and the power day after day hour after hour but it still comes back to monday morning the first voice you hear let mk be your water cooler brother okay because we're gonna mix it up we're gonna brainwash you the only way we know how mk ultra style i'll take a wait and see approach but just speaking candidly i'm a little bit skeptical of the upside possibility that's, what that's all say. we do on this show, Lucas. Speak candidly. We don't care. I'm protecting nothing. All right. <laughs> Some people think you always got to worry about the, the, you know, the payback. Some punk that you talked bad about way back, coming back after all these years. Jay, I ain't going nowhere. I'm staying right here in this rap verse and this lyric. Remember, you used to drop that little, that little thing at the bottom. Thank you. All right, let's move. On. Yeah, he's gotten okay. late. Look at him. He's just sitting there with his hands in his pockets, being lazy as shit. 
Uh, all okay, right. Okay. That's that's a little that's a little bit too far. Don't make me bring Jay back in to troll the audience here and let him defend himself. Check out all this right. dirt bag on the dirt bike here, Luke. This may be third world style here. This guy out here chasing waterfalls, bro. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. This does not end well for this gentleman, Luke. Dude, they always tell you do not try and cross an open body of water. And this motherfucker was like, yes, but I have a dirt bike from 1973. So I do stand by John and say this, bro. If you are going to talk that kind of ish, if you are going to, you know, go to those levels, then fucking fight me already, bro. All right. Yeah, he could he could do it. He could do it now. He could do it now. I think now it's okay. Who else is who else are we saying so deserves it? Even if Robert Whitaker gets a win uh, coming up here, Luke, I I know I want to see Whitaker out of Sanya, too. It will happen eventually. But I don't think I, I, I. This is the time. The time is right. It's the time of the season. All right, for 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 loving. Let's do it. All right. I love this crap. I all really right. want to. Yeah. Um, I know you hate predictions and picks, and nobody really knows. Obviously, Luke. You think the weatherman knows? You know what I'm saying? You don't need a weatherman to tell you which so, way the wind blows. That's it's a little bit. It's a little bit different than the picking the weather. But okay. All right. Uh, if I was a betting man, I'm staring clear of Ortega in this yeah, fight. The denying just, the money part stinks, but outside of that, the no, no, no. I also said I also. I, in fact, not only did I also say I led with bad apparel. It's not good apparel. I mean, it might be good tactically, but it's not visually pleasing. All right. Um, did, and when you were in the Marines, you guys all wore the same thing every day. Right, but there's a there's a clear purpose to that. From a uh, uh, wouldn't a, it confuse the enemy more if you guys were coming out and with your own sponsors all over your uh, tactical gear? Yeah, well, if you were fist fighting for money in a way that was identical, you know, if war was identical to prize fighting, I don't know that would be the same kind of issue, but alas, it's Luke, quite different. Speaking of war, Luke, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, say it again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Woo-ha! Isn't that what you what you Marines say? Woo-ha! Got you all in check? That's what no, they said that during is Warrior. Bust, that is Busta Rhymes, I believe. Oh. Okay. Uh, Brooklyn, not the Marines. All yeah, right. And, uh, one more thing. I got one more thing for you before we oh, start. Do you? Luke, you if you, if you want to be my MK brother, you got to get with my friends. And we certainly have some fun bonus content this week with my friends in the combat sports so I'm, game. I'm fired the hell up for this. You know, I, I, I can only imagine what it's like, Luke, to be a West Coaster, not just to wake up at, you know, 10 a.m. and watch the NFL, but to, like, watch a big fight and then, like, go out afterwards, then live the rest of your life. I don't even know what that feels like, Luke, all right? I know. And every time we bring this up, you have the Europeans who are like, I watch this every time at 4 a.m. and I had to go to school in the snow, uphill both ways. And it's like, yes. Yeah. You know, we have to deal with uh, the reality of watching European sports on our time. Uh, the UFC is a global company, but it's predominantly and at its core an American company. So that's Sorry, why we Euros, get the benefit of the hour. If it's 3 a.m., you must be lonely, okay? Do we want to take you for granted? I will, I will. But thank you for your patronage. One day, one day, get, Showtime way, get, will make it legal for you to purchase our merch. One day, but that day is not today. Thank you. Um, get, get. But he's also never been cut, and he's never been dropped. That's what I'm looking for in this one. Even if Justin loses, yeah. can you cut him? Can you drop him? Because then we're going to see truly what you're made of. Because Justin's been cut, and he's been dropped, and we know what he's made of. Yeah, scar tissue that I wish you saw all over him there. Uh, when you are pouring out uh, Habib's stats, though, look, a lot of those stats are when he's in dominant top position on the ground. I'd like to see his standing Striking statistics and see how those play out. Look, I don't know how nerdy. Fair enough. It'd be it'd be different, but I still bet it'd be pretty good. So they had another dude weigh in just in case. So I'm not telling you as of right now that that fight is off, but be on the lookout because it might be BC. Yeah, yeah. I I think the universe is telling telling the UFC just stop it, just stop it already, bro. All right. I know I know you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all, but I think you're moving too fast. You're really making up for your lack of 90s references earlier in the week with today's show. Okay. With that in mind, good sir. Joined by my CBS Sports colleague on that side of the screen. He is uh, probably going to say hashtag fired up. He's probably going to say mention something about his genitals. One way or the other, it's Brian Campbell. Brian, how are you, sir? Well, I'm doing great, Luke, because this free 99 haircut uh, kept $100 in my bank account this morning when I went for it. But number two, can we just stop acting like these times are happy right now? I've never seen you this melancholy or filled with infinite sadness before, Luke. What the hell's wrong with you? Can I make a promise to the listeners? 
If you send a question in an app positive Apple review, I will answer your question. Is that is that is that too much to ask, Luke? I don't think it is. I got free time. I will answer your damn question, okay? Send it this way. We want you to do that. We also want word of mouth. That's the best way to spread disease in this country. It's also the best way to get people on this MK train. So, I don't know, tell your friends, get with my friends, because we can be friends. Let's do this every weekend. Let's do this three days a week. MK, all day, nearly every day. Let's twist that fist already, all right? Let's make this. Luke, this is a thing that cannot be contained, all right, bro? I know you're all angry and pissy today. The world's got you down. MK, still there. Still coming, bro. Well, everyone's like, we're not going to give you any gear you need to get the job done. Hey, can you get the job done? Yeah, I can. I can unfuck the problems that you've created. But Good breath, Luke, okay? You know, breathing. You know, I'm just saying. It's the hardest thing to do. All right, so... We, we might were... as well take our dongs out at this point. We're so, what this we is just... I you know, mean, just... Our guy, our guy Manich, is like, everybody, cell phones off, as if that'll fix everything, right? <laughs> the show just fell apart. The lead producer, when we were going back on, goes, so uh, how do you want to get back in? I'm like, does it fucking matter at this point? We're 41 minutes into the show, and we've had five minutes of discussion. Yeah. Who cares? I mean, that's... You know how fat I am? I ate so many donuts this morning. How many donuts did you have? A lot. All right. I had half of one. You know, I went to the pizza place. Right. Last week's dead wrong. How, how, Mike, how uh, meta was this? Yeah, this during was yeah, dead... I got, I got was dead wrong during dead wrong. Yes. Uh, isn't that ironic, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you think? A little too ironic. <laughs> well, I really do think, right? Yeah. Wow, right? A little... You know it was Dave Coulier that she was banging that she wrote the You Oughta Know show. I know. So um, there's, there's, certain, there's certain women in life who are just, when it comes to picking the men in there, there's a classic. That's Uncle Joey. Classic uh, underachiever. Yeah, yeah. So, shout out to Atlantis there. Watch I'll Carrie that. Holman. She's going to deliver a knockdown here to Rebecca Laws. She Ooh. fought the Laws in uh, The Laws Lost. But watch what happens when they restart, Luke. Uh, our girl Carly Holman going to send this chick to... Oh my god, ref, let it snap, let it go. Here we go, Luke. Just, just wait. Oh, buddy. Yeah, well, it's not long before we change this show from MK to BC, or maybe BBC. <laughs> All right. By the um, way, can we, hold on, I'll say, you're dead wrong for that because you say you're big beige Brian Campbell. Wouldn't that be triple B? Aren't you just stealing the triple C gimmick? Well, it, you know, BBC, of course, Luke, sounds a lot like Yes, a Big Black Cock, we all know, but it doesn't work. It, it doesn't work if you're if you're Big Beige Brian. I'm long, I'm strong, and I'm about to get the friction on. Okay, <laughs> ladies, so there you go. If you want to drive in my Mercedes, yeah. You know, I, right. I went to bed with the phone off to save the energy. I woke up, Luke, to about 82 text messages <laughs> of you sending me... COVID positive links about how the world's going to end and all the MMA fighters got it wrong. I tried not to get upset about it, Luke. Oh my God, did I try? But at this point, Luke, I feel like you're just victory lap slam dunking on the fact that you may have been right, even though I feel like everybody predicted the second surge. I almost feel like you're getting Third. pleasure over this, bro. Third. Stop trying to pleasure yourself through my phone. I'm not down with that, all right? Well, uh, your phone is a place of pleasure for both you and me for a variety of different ways. But uh, so no, you beat an Oliveira or a hooker, well, now you ascend to that level. Yeah. And at that point, man, you know, there's just no bad fights you could make. Sneaky call on Oliveira, which is you saying if it wasn't for Do Bronx, this rap shit probably never would be going on, right? So tell me where you're from. Uh, I dated okay. a girl from Riverdale once, which okay. is a nice there area of the Bronx. Thank, thank you. It's pretty much. violent <laughs> enough where you're like, Maybe he's turned the corner. Maybe he's really damn good. And I know you were a big fan of his pectoral muscles on Twitter, oh Luke. And, uh, uh, you know, his yeah, his body's a wonderland. Shout out to... Okay, Buckley. so there's a lot of stuff going on here, Luke. Um, you know, he says... We, you know, remember in the show we were like, well, I'm not going to talk about him coming back for 30. You know, until I hear it, until I hear it from you. Uh, is that the Goo Goo Doll? No, that's... Uh, no, until I hear it from... Jim Blossom? I don't know. Better than Ezra? One of them. It's one of them, yeah. Luke. Um... Dishwalla. In, in, no, that's that's. Uh, <laughs> Tell me all your thoughts on God. Yeah, cause I'd really like to see him. Yeah. Tell me if okay, I'm okay, buried. Okay. 
All right. Okay, um, okay, okay. So what about Habib? Um, Habib came out and was like, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll smash your opinion. You watch you a pay-per-view live and you hear everyone's walkout music, like Caitlin Chukagan comes out to DMX, Where the Hood At. If you wait a year or two or something and then you go on Fight Pass and you listen for her walkout, um, it, the chances are you won't. You'll hear some other kind of music that is sort of like, you know, whatever UFC owns, like their own in-house music sense, dubbed yeah. over it. And WWE the reason why is because you can buy the rights for a certain amount of time, uh, but they tend to not buy them in perpetuity. Yeah, and if you want to know the rest, hey, buy the rights. How bizarre, right, Luke? You know what I'm saying? So, Luke, why is UFC 217, 226, 229 subject to this rule, but not... 227 and 249. Yeah, a lot of rumors out there in the comment section that your boy BC was purposely trying to keep us at 69, dudes. But no, I want to get higher. <laughs> 70, 75, like Creed. Uh, can you take me higher? Yes, I will take you higher, please. Uh, once we get to 100, Luke's top comes off. Maybe a little T on T with another man. I don't know. A lot of wild stuff can happen, Luke. The more that this show expands, blows up, takes over people's lives. You don't need those other people, okay? I like... Uh, Big John McCarthy and Bizping's got a pod. I think DC does some Canadian pod. I, you know, they're they're probably good shows, but this is the only show you actually need, Luke. You jerk. And right? multiple times a week, multiple times yeah, a week. I mean, uh, what other show you, is hitting you this hard? Okay. You if, know you, what if, you, if you if you didn't wanna... see a whole lot of it, and you have to call it like you see it, uh, which is to say, when the event was over, did I feel like I had a really fun night of entertainment? No. But that doesn't mean that a lot of other people didn't. And in fact, when I look sort of on whoa. social media, hold on, let old me finish, man, dude. old man, look at your life. I'm a lot like you were, but I completely disagree. How were you not entertained, Luke? Please. Well, tell you me. see, this is where not interrupting me and letting me actually explain gets to the part of that. Here's what I would say, BC. Just because I didn't like it doesn't mean there was nothing to like. Not everybody is going to like every single uh, thing. It wouldn't be a bad time. Is it necessary? I don't know. It depends on how Tony can regroup, recharge, figure this out. But when you are unorthodox for so long, Luke, um, and you begin to naturally slow and decline, think Roy Jones Jr., you may, you know, to be unorthodox, you, you typically have to be a great athlete or be a slugger, right? Usually it's, it's, I'm a great athlete, so I can break the rules. I can do wild things and stuff. It's going to be harder to pull that off when you're slowing down. So if that's the case, um, adding more structure, more tradition uh, could 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 help the long term here. But t hey, Tony's not going to do that. This is Tony, right? He's going to go down and fl Luke. He will um, he will burn out before he fades away, right? I I just feel like if you got a coach in there, I let's mean keep the train moving. Thursday night, the night before, on the zone. No, Friday, Friday. I'm sorry, Friday night. Thursday was last night, Luke. Yeah, all right. Hey, tonight, Luke, tonight. <laughs> Se Hard Rock Seminole in Florida. It is Gennady Golovkin putting his uh, WB... Uh, no, IBO, IBO, IBF. IBF, yeah, the IBO is BS. Uh, the IBF middleweight championship on the line against a Polish mandatory contender, uh, Camille Zarev... Zer uh, Shera Meta. Sharama, uh, yeah, Scaramouche, Scaramouche, can you do the Fandango? So, Luke, here's the deal. No one wants hey, this fight. Shout out to Malco, Showtime, CBS Sports. Um, yeah, that's all I got, Luke, okay? You, you want to tell the people anything? Yeah, I want you to have a safe flight home. Don't get COVID. And uh, I think, are you going to do a post-fight reaction to Canelo? Yes, I will. Yes, and I will do a post-fight reaction to UFC. I will be there for you. These five words, I swear to you, Luke, okay? <laughs> all right, very good. Well, don't eat all those eggs in one go and safe travels and blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the Thank deal, you. Luke. Wednesday is December 23rd. We will have a regular show. I don't know what we're going to talk about. Dude, the great thing about you and I, Luke, we may not always get along. I might not be always there when you call, right? But I am always on time for this show, is we could talk about anything, of course, okay? Of plugged it morningcombat at gmail.com because we need your submissions for dead wrong which we'll do on Friday what did we get wrong either one of us let us know uh, send us an email and make sure it's correct please double check your work huh do your algebra cause I'm okay. dirty deeds oi 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 dirty deeds I'm dynamite dirty deeds alright 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 I win the fight listen let me read to you my hall of fame list and then shut the fuck up I know right, what you want me to do right you want me to come out here and be like Fuck Mob Deep, 
Fuck Zufa Boxing. <laughs> Fuck Dana White as a as a label and a crew. Don't you want don't one of y'all got sickle cell or something? I know you want me to do that, right? And I have, by the way, researched how other people in the past have responded to being unfairly attacked by Dana White. So, you know, last warning, this is not how Eskimo brothers should talk to one another, Dana. But look, the reality is 